Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to talk to you about how to connect your corporate credit card to QuickBooks. What's different about this from previous videos is that in this video, I want to talk to you about how to connect the corporate credit card when you have only one credit card. So in this example, we're going to use my credit card. Um, I would love to not use it, but I needed an example that people could see and understand and relate it to their own situation. So I have one credit card. It lives in my pocket. I don't have a second credit card. When I went to Bank America and I said, I'd love to get an Alaska Airlines card. They said, hey, that's terrific. We'd love to give you one. We'll set it up as a corporate account. You'll put a card underneath it, and then if you ever need more cards, you can add more cards. I've never needed more cards, and I probably won't need more cards, but here we are. What I have is my corporate account and my transaction account. Every month, whatever charges I make on the 3609, which is the card in my pocket, every month those transactions will sweep up and be added to the running balance that I owe the credit card company, the total I owe them. What I'm going to suggest is that if this is the case for you, if you have just one credit card lives in your pocket, do not connect both of these things to QuickBooks. Don't connect them. Don't make journal entries to move stuff around. Just keep it simple. What I do in my real QuickBooks is I only connect 3609. I've got a sample QuickBooks. I've already connected them. I want to show you why I only connect the one. 3609 has all my charges. That's what I really need in QuickBooks. The only thing that shows up over here on the corporate is my payment. The payment that I make to my credit card, it comes out of my business account. You and I both know this when you're working on your, your tiles and you're working on your banking. When you get to your checking account and you see the payment you made to your credit card, you're just gonna go click the drop down, select your credit card, click add, and you're good to go. Add, transfer, make credit card payment, whatever. You don't need your corporate credit card connected because this information is in QuickBooks. It's in QuickBooks because you told QuickBooks about it when you were organizing your checking data. What you do need is for the transactions to be connected to QuickBooks. You do not need your corporate credit card connected. So what I'm suggesting is whatever number is down here for your credit card, that this is what you connect, that you do not connect the corporate. So let's go ahead and disconnect the corporate credit card. So I'm gonna click edit and disconnect and save and close. So now the only thing I have connected is my 3609 credit card. This works out perfectly because it downloads all my charges. I can organize everything and put everything away. The only thing you might find confusing, frustrating, or weird is the bank balance number. My bank balance number right now is 2,900. If I go to here, it's 2,900. My in QuickBooks balance is gonna show the real amount of money that I owe. I owe this number plus I owe this number. You know this because your corporate credit card is the running balance from all your previous months and then this is your current, what you have currently charged. When your statement gets generated, the current charges are gonna go into the corporate and just be part of that grand total. And the 3609 card, in my case, will get reset to zero. So when you're looking at your QuickBooks, this bank balance number could be zero if your statement just reset because all the money is shifted into corporate. The in QuickBooks number should represent the amount of money you actually owe to your credit card company. This only really applies if you have a situation where you have a corporate credit card, but in real life you have one credit card. You don't need to overcomplicate things by setting up the two and doing transfers and so forth. Just keep your life simple. If you look at this and you don't really understand or you have questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. My team and I are more than happy to help you. You can schedule appointments for training. You can schedule for us to come in, scoop it all up, clean it up, make it better, hand it back to you, or maintain it going forward. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great day.